Hey y'all, it's Lindsay, and I've jumped off the struggle bus, but I've jumped onto the bandwagon. For the past couple of years, I have been watching Instant Pot videos or various um, electric pressure cooker videos. I think the first person that I saw using the Instant Pot was Neely over at Indigo Neely. And I, I was intrigued, but I was not intrigued enough to actually buy one. And then um, this earlier this week, they put them on sale on Amazon, the eight quart. So I had to jump on <laughs> and they were on sale for a hundred dollars. They also had some that were on the Amazon warehouse deals. And so I got this one for 90 bucks. I am super excited to open it up. I've already decided what I'm going to make first after I read through the manual, because I have heard a lot of people mention read the manual when you open up your instant pot. Do not think you can just dive head first without having some context from the manufacturer. <laughs> so I'm gonna open up this eight quart instant pot. Okay, so I got the eight quart nine in one multi-use programmable pressure cooker and this is the Duo Plus. And like I said, this is a, um, a warehouse deal from Amazon. So it is in used like new condition. Definitely need to read through this bad boy. So I have just finished reading the Instant Pot user manual and now I'm gonna go through, wash all of the parts and then I will be doing the, um, just the little check that they tell you about on page 14 to go through and just test it with water to make sure you understand how it works and to kind of get a feel for it and to make sure that the Instant Pot is actually working properly. So let's go do that. Okay, everything is all clean. I've dried everything really, really well. And let's see if I can wrestle this um, seal back into the lid. That was a little bit tricky. I was not expecting it to be that um, difficult to get the sealing ring out, but let's give this a try. That went in a whole lot easier than it came out. So that was a good thing. All right, let's do the test run with just water. Okay, so I've got it plugged in over here and it says off, so I'm going to come in. To, I've got the valve is on ceiling. Here is venting, ceiling. So we've got it on ceiling. Um, and now I'm going to, oh, steam, or yes, steam. 
adjust it down to two minutes. Preheating cycle will start up after 10 seconds and it will display on. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, there it goes. So I'm gonna let this um, test cycle run through and see how this all works. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and prep up some lemon curd and that's gonna be the first recipe I test out in this Instant Pot. Okay, it has been on the keep warm function with my little initial test run because I had to go collect a tiny baby. So I think I need to push cancel and then I think I can release this pressure Okay, here we go. First time, hands are clear. And I believe I'm watching for this little button to fall all the way down before I can open up the lid. My Instant Pot has just finished releasing the pressure. The little button has dropped all the way down. What is that thing called? Ah, float valve. Okay, so my float valve has dropped completely. We're gonna open this bad boy up, see what happened. Also, please excuse the whiteboards in the window. It's wicked sunny out today, and I was blinded. Okay, here we go. Well, that worked out well. Now that I kind of know what I'm sort of expecting to do, I'm gonna get to work on the lemon curd recipe. So I've set my trivet in the bottom of my Instant Pot. I have put my two jars that are kind of loosely-ish covered with the lids uh, full of that lemon curd I just made. And I'm gonna seal it up. All right. I'm gonna switch this to sealing. I'm gonna plug it in. Let's hit steam. So we'll come back and see how this works. My lemon curd has finished in the Instant Pot here, and I'm probably gonna say Instant Pot about eight gazillion times. I beg your forgiveness. <laughs> so anyway, and I'm just waiting for that little um, float to drop down so that I can open this up and take a look. My little float has dropped. Carefully opening. Problems. That didn't go as planned. As you can see, I've got some leakage here. It's still hot, so I'm holding it with a pot holder here. And in spite of it exploding up and out of my jars, it looks really, really good. It looks really creamy and it's thickened up quite a lot from those egg yolks, obviously. And now I'm gonna clean up these jars and I'm gonna put them in the refrigerator for a couple of hours so they can fully cool and set. Actually, no. I'm gonna leave these sitting on the counter for probably an hour, that way I don't crack my glass and then I'll put them in the, um, the refrigerator and then after a few hours of refrigeration, I will test this out. I don't even wanna wait for this stuff to cool down before I taste it. <laughs> That's terrible, I'm probably gonna burn my tongue off and then I won't be able to taste anything for like the next three days. Yes. That is the stuff that dreams are made of, y'all. That's my unboxing and first initial like test out with my Instant Pot here. Again, it is the eight quart Duo Plus model and I got it on Amazon. I will leave a link below, 
but it is not going to be as inexpensive as I got it um, back at the beginning of this week they were running like a deal of the day kind of a thing and I did get an Amazon warehouse deal as opposed to buying a brand new one um, and it can't it looks perfect honestly so I'm completely happy to pay a greatly reduced price for something that was a like new condition and it looks amazing and it's super cool y'all i am so excited the instant pot craze has been around for a few years at least and i'm just now jumping onto the bandwagon i usually do that because i don't want people telling me what to do honestly and um that's a struggle it really is so even though I had been hearing about how great electric pressure cookers were for the past several years I just totally resisted the trend but given the fact that the deal I got on this was so incredible and the fact that Jared and I love cheesecake um, I decided to go ahead and make the splurge so my next recipe I'm gonna be trying out in this is probably gonna be cheesecake and we'll see how that goes and um, I'm really excited to just keep testing this out and using it for myself. And I know that I'm not showing you anything new, but I kind of just wanted to take you along with me on this new adventure in my kitchen with electric pressure cooking. So thank you so much for joining me. If you are new here, I welcome you. And if you have been around a little while, I truly appreciate all of you and I will see you in the next video. Bye.